In our Health Edge tonight, some surprising benefits to taking a nap. And we're not talking about for kids, but for adults. Joining us now is our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenandi. What are your thoughts on this? Naps for adults. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You know, all of us think, you know, naps at work, what could happen? But what we're worried about is impulsive behavior at work. So if you get frustrated, you lash out, you become angry. So what do we do about it? So research at the University of Michigan, you know, looked at the looked at these uh, sub subjects that took 60-minute naps. So they had the option of not taking naps or taking these 60-minute, an hour naps. And they found out that the people who took naps actually had less impulse, uh, impulsive behaviors have more impulse control. I think the real crux is that none of us are sleeping at night. So if you're not sleeping at night and then you have to take a nap at work, well, that doesn't work. You know, so get better rest and then go to a, a sleep specialist and they can help you. So I think it's, it's, a, it's good research so to, to let us know what's going on. Easier said than done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> although, although, got kids, especially. Although right. I'm at a point where I can pretty much fall asleep anywhere at any time <laughs> yeah. nowadays, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> during the day, that is. All right, now to some uh, new research bringing new meaning to you are what you eat. The bacteria in your gut can actually influence your mood? Yeah, it's really interesting. I, you know, I, I practice gastroenterology, so I love the gut bacteria, right? So what we know, now know is that trillions of bacteria in the gut actually trillions. produce trillions. So, you know, it's, it's like a war in there. And, the, and the, the good bacteria in there actually can produce certain substances. And we know those substances actually can help your mood. Some increase depression, some actually elate your mood. So we now know the kind of bacteria that you have can actually make a difference. So what does that mean? Maybe we can change the bacteria in your gut and then lead to better you know, psychological responses and then people can elevate their mood. So it's really interesting and, and, and studies that show that the stuff in your gut can affect your brain. Can that be done with food? Yeah, actually, you know, good, good food, like for example, if you have yogurt or probiotics, the, the nerves in your gut actually, uh, there are more nerves than your brain. So the connection between the two are, are really, really surprising to a lot of people. So excellent. You know, on Friday, we told you about some really promising new research in regards to pancreatic cancer. Throughout the weekend, a lot of you have been, been asking me questions. You know, Kimberly wrote us asking about symptoms, symptoms of pancreatic cancer. Now, here's the problem that, you know, a lot of us who practice medicine and see uh, pancreatic cancer, often there are no symptoms whatsoever. However, if you see jaundice, yellow jaundice, where you, you know, your pupils and, and your eyes turn, uh, you know, yellow, you can also have pale colored stools and then abdominal pain or bloating. You can have weight loss and nausea or vomiting. And remember, all of those are pretty nonspecific. It doesn't mean that you have pancreatic cancer. But if they persist, especially when, when you have jaundice and pain, go see your doctor because the earlier we can make this diagnosis, the better. The problem is that we get them so late that we can't do very much about it. Right. So clearly, any of those symptoms you have, see your doctor and, and, and get, get uh, further testing. And obviously, get, get your checkup. A lot of people don't do that because we're so busy. The annual yearly yeah. physical. Especially guys, you know, yeah. they like, you know, I'm, I'm tough, I'm not going to get it. But you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Go get and get preventative care so you can prevent further problems. All right. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at WXYZ.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. And up next, our